we will start with a goal kick. We want to try and make the pitch as big as possible. Okay, I'm, I won't tell you what to play. I'm just going to say to the keeper, go and play. I want to see your patterns first to see what you have. Um, first and foremost, I think it's, you have to try and understand what they know. Um, so you'll probably see from the first bit, when we started, I let them play because I wanted to know what their understanding of build-up was because they have to go and make the decision. So very important that you get to know what they know first and foremost um, because otherwise you don't know what to go and coach them. In our, in our half, we are going to play one and two touch. Play! Good. Play! Good! Follow that pass. Well done. Good. Move the ball. Move the ball. Good. Play! Play! Yes, so two reds, St try and stop these three getting out. Yeah, if you win the ball, you score. Okay, how are you going to stop them? Because I wanted them to get some little patterns first. I wanted to see what they knew without any pressure on them. Um, and then it was important that we got some pressure on the centre-backs, some pressure on the defensive midfielder and then the goalkeeper. I kind of work with the ball in three stages. So build up one is in the defensive third, build up two in the middle third and breakthrough in the final third. Um, so today was build up one. So the goalkeeper becomes your spare man. Um, you need the other players to have the trust in him with his feet. So, you know, whenever he's got it, if he can draw the player towards him, then there's going to be a spare player somewhere. And then it's about finding that spare player. So you can use other players as a bounce or the goalkeeper can actually play it there himself. Or he plays over the pressure and, uh, you know, plays into a spare man there as well. Play! Good! Excellent! Finish! Finish! Good! And come back!